नमस्ते जय हिंद एंड वेलकम यूर ऑन सी एन एन न्यूज एटीन आई मानो नरसिम्हन दी एन डी एज बैक इन पावर इन बिहार नीतीश कुमार स्टिल रिमेन्स द चीफ मिनिस्टर ही टूक ओथ एज बिहार चीफ मिनिस्टर फॉर द नाइन्थ टाइम आफ्टर अ ड्रामेटिक रिटर्न इट ऑल हैपन बिटवीन अ रेगुलर शिफ्ट टेन ए एम टू फाइव पी एम बट इट हैपन ऑन अ संडे लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन दी ओथ टेकिंग सेरेमनी वॉज अटेंडेड बाय द बीजेपी नेशनल प्रेसिडेंट जगत प्रकाश नड्डा Eight other ministers also took oath of office along with Nitish Kumar for the new Bihar cabinet. BJP Samrat Chaudhary and Vijay Sinha were sworn in as deputy chief ministers. Now remember, speculations were rife that the Bihar chief minister is not getting along well with the ally, ally RJD, and also the pressures of raids and corruption charges against the Lalu Yadav family and its members. were also increasing his tension more importantly it was the construct of the indi alliance and whether it was going anywhere and whether there was in it anything in it for nitish kumar perhaps that was the consideration we'll debate about it but his return to the nda has come amid a bit of face off also with the rjd and the congress party nitish kumar turning back on the indi alliance has ghar wapsi in the nda what does that mean for the 40 seats of lok sabha 2024 is going to be important because already the name calling has begun Sharad Pawar has said Aya Ram Gaya Ram is Nitish Kumar Congress somebody has called him Paltu Ram thaka hua mukhyamantri is what Tejasvi Yadav himself has called him clearly the indi block not very happy about this because remember he was the one who traversed the length and breadth of this country to form this cobbled up alliance of 26 parties regional and national together to form the INDI alliance They have now called Nitish Kumar a chameleon. बिहार के हित में और पूरे इलाके के और बिहार के विकास के लिए हम काम करते हैं इसी काम को आगे बढ़ाएंगे ये अनहोली अलायंस ये अनसाइंटिफिक अलायंस ये अलायंस चलने वाला था जनता दल यूनाइटेड जो पार्टी है 2024 में ही खत्म हो जाएगी ये निश्चित रूप से लिख लीजिए इसका मतलब यही है कि इंडिया गठबंधन तोड़ने के लिए कोशिश पहले से चली थी ये आज उजागर हो गया Will Paltu Ram? That's what Nitish Kumar ji is being called multiple times by many, many people. Will he seal the alliance and seal Bihar, seal seal forty seats of Bihar for the BJP? And more importantly, does this sound the death knell for the INDI alliance? Because after Mamata Banerjee, the Sutradhar Nitish himself walking out is a big jolt. Sayed Zafar Islam, national spokesperson of the BJP, with us. Anupriya ji spokesperson of the JDU with us Priyanka Bharti ji of the RJD is with us Sanjay Kumar ji is a philologist with us and is also co-director of Lokniti CSDS and also Rashid Kitwai senior journalist Namaste and Jai Bharat to everybody thank you very very much for coming in this Sunday evening on this very important conversation what does this imply and what does this mean Sayed Zafar Islam ji 80 seats of the UP 42 seats of Bengal and 40 seats of bihar ye teen three states itself make it 162 seats and all the three regional satraps have said we are not going to work with the indi alliance khush to bahut honge aap aaj well yes sir, we are extremely happy as our national president said that we welcome nitish kumar ji but he has come back to the right place because clearly the mandate was for the Uh, alliance between bharatiya janata party and uh, jdu and not for the for the unholy alliance which has been set up by rjd and jdu earlier so it is it is a matter of fact that uh, people were unhappy and for to serve the people and to serve the state uh, in, a, in the most efficient manner you need to have a, a good government and good governance model which was not possible when rjd was uh, as your partner so nitish kumar ji felt that it is important 
for keeping the interests of the people and the state what they had what was promised to them it is better to come back to the nda fold and because there is a governance model which actually ensures effectiveness and uh, 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 you are uh, trying to uh, say this has got nothing to do with lok sabha 2024 sir zafar islam ji it's got nothing to do with the indi alliance no, no. and and their coming together especially in these critical <laughs> See, uh, states i want i, I want this i won't discount the fact that uh, yes coming together will definitely he brings stand to the table and i will not discount it and uh, out of 160 seat we will definitely get uh, majority of the seats almost almost 100% seat uh, both in uh, in bihar uttar pradesh and of course in west bengal also we will surprise everyone in west bengal we will surprise everyone last time we had 39 this time we have 40 out of 40 this time 80 out of 80 in uttar pradesh and in west bengal definitely our number will be in 30s in three uh, three handle definitely 30s mm. so we will definitely clean sweep in these three states so, and so we, you were worried were you were RG worried number. about this combination so, of the rjd congress jdu if these three were to come together along with the left in bihar to get those 39 seats or to retain even about 25 of them would have been difficult for you no let me tell you that uh, this uh, so called gamandia gadbandha or india alliance is bound to disintegrate we were telling you right from the day one that this is not going to uh, sustain because everybody everyone has aspiration and everyone's bound to become prime minister so their expectation what they have will not will definitely make them fight with each other and it is something which we have seen because there you you have an alliance you do not see this kind of friction every every day whether it's a alliance or it's a defiance i don't know but the every pol every political party with this uh, gamandia gadbandhan has issues with other political parties with this kind of alliance partner definitely you can't proceed you, the, and you can't the, do something what the alliance say, that you are calling the indi alliance that you are calling gamandia gadbandhan the sutradhar or the or the rachaita of it itself anupriya ji is nitish ji वही उसको छोड़ के आ गए क्यों सिंह और मैं बहुत स्पष्ट कर दू हमारे नेता ने भी जब जी अनुप्रिया जी हमारे नेता ने जब परित्याग दिया राज्यपाल को तो उन्होंने स्पष्ट कहा और हमारे राष्ट्रीय प्रवक्ता केसी त्यागी जी भी ने कहा कि जो आज अलायंस जो टूटी है इसके पीछे का मुख्य कारण है जिस तरह से इंडिया अलायंस में कांग्रेस का एक धारा जो अपनी ही पार्टी को मैं फिर कह रही हूँ अपनी ही पार्टी को कमजोर करने के साथ साथ अलायंस को भी कमजोर करने में लगी थी क्योंकि उनको यह बात पता है कि जितनी भी अलायंसेस में संगठन में जो पार्टियां हैं वह सभी कहीं ना कहीं कांग्रेस को तोड़ करके अपनी जमीनी हकीकत को बनाई है और वो रूलिंग पार्टी है कई पार्टियां हैं जो अपने अपने राज्यों में रूलिंग है उनको नजरअंदाज करना उनके साथ बार्गेनिंग करना उनको अपने शर्तों पर चलाना या कहीं से भी अलायंस के धर्म का निर्वाह नहीं हो रहा था और इसी और कई ऐसी चीजें जो बिहार में भी चल रही थी जो हमारे सहयोगी दल है उनके साथ में कुछ विभागों में जो उनके मंत्रियों के बयान लगातार कई मुद्दे पे जहां पे हम डिफर करते थे क्योंकि हम संविधान को मानते हैं और संविधान यह कहता है कि सभी धर्मों का सम्मान होना चाहिए हमने हर बार उन बातों का खंडन किया है उसे डिनाई किया है कि कभी भी ऐसे बातों को हमें नहीं बोलना चाहिए जो किसी की भावना को आहत है इन बातों पे कहीं से भी हमें सिकंजा कसते हुए उन पार्टियों के शीर्ष नेतृत्व की तरफ से कहीं से दिखा नहीं निश्चित तौर पे कई चीजें थी जो धरातल पे सही तरीके से नहीं चल रही थी इन कारणों से हमने बहुत ही दुखद तरीके से मैं कह रही हूँ इंडिया एयरलाइंस के साथ में हम अलग पर अनुप्रिया जी अब वहां तो कम से कम कन्वीनर के बनने के ख्वाब थे प्राइम मिनिस्टर का चेहरा बन रहे थे विपक्ष का यहाँ तो फिर से सिर्फ नीतीश बाबू बिहार में मुख्यमंत्री है आनंद Let me tell you, ये हमारे यहाँ कभी भी इंडिया अलायंस के बनने से और आज खत्म हो गई है इंडिया अलायंस हमारे तरफ से हमने कभी भी ना प्रधानमंत्री के चेहरे के बारे में मांग की नहीं कन्वीनर की बात की आप देखो कि हम फिर कह रहे थे हम अभी भी कह रहे हैं कि हम संविधान के लिए है गए और संविधान जो कहता है उसी को मानते हैं 
लेकिन संविधान के लिए संविधान के लिए कि कुर्सी के लिए कि देखिए 2022 का जो ये डेढ़ दो साल में आपको कुर्सी छोड़नी थी तेजस्वी यादव जी के लिए कहीं ना कहीं ये लूज अरेंजमेंट था लोकसभा चुनाव आएंगे नीतीश बाबू राष्ट्रीय पॉलिटिक्स की तरफ जाएंगे और फिर तेजस्वी बाबू गद्दी पर आसीन होंगे विराजमान होंगे वो आनंद 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 लसन 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 भी आपने आज मुझे अच्छी बात है कि यहाँ बीजेपी के प्रवक्ता है शायद मुझे लगता है कि उन फुटेज को भी चलाना चाहिए जिसमें बीजेपी के कई नेताओं ने मैं नाम नहीं लूंगी क्योंकि अब हम साथी हैं और अब पुरानी बातों को मुझे नेता जिक्र करने का कोई यहाँ आप मंच भी रहा कि जब कई बार से दरवाजे बंद हो चुके थे कुंडी लग चुकी थी पगड़ी बन चुकी थी तो ये चीजें जो है वो ठीक है दोनों मर जाऊंगा पर वापस नहीं जाऊंगा मैं भी आपको याद दिला सकता हूँ बिल्कुल आप मुझे यही याद दिला रहे थे आपने आप मुझे स्टेटमेंट याद दिला दिया मुझे याद है ये बात है मैं फिर कह रही हूँ कि जब दूरिया बनती है तो चीजें इस तरह से होती है लेकिन फिर तभी एक जुटते हैं और जो हमारे जिस ये नेचुरल अलायसेज जो चली आ रही थी जो जनता का मैंडेट था और उसी मैं फिर कह रही हूँ और माननीय मुख्यमंत्री जी जननायक कपूरी ठाकुर के जन शताब्दी के समारोह में उन्होंने कहा था मंच से बिहार के हित के लिए जो भी मुझे डिसीजन लेना पड़ेगा वो चाहे कितना भी हार्ड है हम वो डिसीजन समवेयर दिस इज डिफिकल्ट टू प्ले इट अनुप्रिया जी यू हैव टू एक्सेप्ट इट एंड आई नो इट इज डिफर यू टू डिफेंड समथिंग लाइक दिस एंड इज नॉट वंस ट्वाइस फाइव बट यू शुड हैव बिकम पास्ट मास्टर्स इट इज बाई नाउ बिकॉज ही इज डन इट नाइन टाइम्स पर प्रियंका जी ये ऐसा हाथ को आया मुंह को न लगा ऐसा तो नहीं हुआ आपके साथ मैंने ऐसे आपके साथ यानी राजद के साथ पार्टी के साथ There is nothing like that. Uh, we did not move an inch back. It was Nitish Kumar who came to us and said, "See, BJP is daggering me. Please save my party. They are trying to break break my party." And that was the time when they just we. But this time the allegation is that you are you are trying to break his party. That's one of the biggest yeah. alle allegations that you are trying to break some JDU members uh, into uh, RJD. Yeah, please continue. Sorry. नीतीश कुमार हु सेड मैं मर जाऊंगा लेकिन भाजपा में नहीं जाऊंगा मेरी अंतरात्मा तैयार नहीं आई डोंट अंडरस्टैंड हाउ मेनी अंतरात्मा ही हैज बिकॉज ही डिड दिस अगेन सी अब व्हेन अनुप्रिया जी वाज सेइंग जहर वाली भी बात की थी उन्होंने बट अगर भूत को अगर याद करना है तो बहुत सारी बातें हैं सो या प्लीज कंप्लीट या नहीं कर रहे ना वी आर नॉट वी आर नॉट टॉकिंग इवन अबाउट द पास्ट व्हेन अनुप्रिया जी सेइंग दैट बिहार में काम नहीं हुआ आई विल रिमाइंड हर Since 17 years, the education department belonged to JDU, but it was, it is now we are showing this how 17 years two again. No, no, Priyanka. I'm not saying that in Bihar there is no work. Seventeen in which seventeen months has given. Let, let, let us speak, uh, Anupriya ji. She didn't interrupt you, so let her make her let her make her comment, and then you can rebut. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So within seventeen months, you see, we have given more than two and two more than two lakhs jobs only in the education department and all departments which will belong to us. For example, medal law, nokri pao, all these departments. We have given all these jobs. If giving jobs and battling for Bihar is that is the core principle of RJD, and we have followed it till now. We will do it. Satta rahe, satta jaye. Lalu ji has always said, "Raj rahe ya raj jaye." Insaniyat ki raksha ke liye hum hamesha lade rahenge, and that is what they just we just fight. उनकाउंट 0.96%. So how it is working? Everyone knows it has been cleared as a tool of BJP. As a tool. To That's a very serious charge that you make, see, because one of the commitments that the BJP made is that the ED will be allowed to give on a free hand to crack down on where there is corruption. There have been convictions also, and if there is no corruption, if there is no, see, there cannot be any smoke without fire. But you made a serious charge there. So let Sayed Zafar Islam respond before I bring in Sanjay ji and also uh, Rashid Kijwal ji. Yes. सी आरजेडी सुप्रीमो इज अ कन्विक्टेड मैन हु हैज कन्विक्टेड इट इज द कोर्ट एवरी वन नोज हाउ करप्ट ही वॉज हाउ ही हैज एक्चुअली प्लंडर्ड द स्टेट्स वेल्थ एवरी वन नोज वेन यू वॉज द रेलवे डिपार्टमेंट ही वॉज द मिनिस्टर इन रेलवे ही मेड टर्म्स ऑफ मनी फॉर एवरी जॉब ही गेव ही एक्चुअली हैड टू टेक मनी फ्रॉम एवरी वन plus land job for land is something which everyone knows so it is not for us to uh, uh, to criticize it is for them to justify 
how they have given job they have been summoned by ed based on ed doesn't summon anyone unless they have evidence they have enough information which leads to additional information when they uh, they summon people no, but, and but here the charge here the charge ask sir, them to uh, here the charge uh, sir, sayed zafar islam ji is that sam dam dand bhed ye dand ed ka kaam ed is the dand for the bjp that's the allegation no narasimha it is the agency if does agency approach everyone it's a 120 220 what is this number it is the corrupt people and it is you their know? responsibility they are simply discharging the responsibility as an Prima agency ek minute, ek minute. they have to it hmm. is for it it is for it is for them to ensure that the corrupt are not spared i mean it is not the earlier government where cor corruption was something which was an acceptable norms we have zero tolerance policy on the corruption hmm. so agencies have been given free hand you hmm. must pursue what has been you have been set up for hmm. and they are simply discharging their responsibilities why there has to be any hmm. problem if you have not done anything if there is some evidence hmm. even if it is a false evidence right. something which you can justify that you have not done you must appear no, appear in front there, of the there must be there must be See, See, you have not done any they, they, okay now priyanka ji respond and then i'll go go to our other two guests who have not spoken yet yeah. just a small response you Jee. you have seen how many railway accidents has have have happened and when mr zafar islam is saying that lalu ji procured a lot of wealth during he was railway minister i don't know he doesn't know uh, aware of the fact or not it was 90000 crores of profit with lalu yadav made during the time uh, during the duration when he was railway minister so this is what lalu prasad yadav have, have hmm. has done and i am asserting this right now and i have asserted it since so many times that rjd's stand is totally clear we are fighting against three things three c's that are casteism communalism and corruption and mm. this is in flowing in the blood and veins of bjp when he talks about corruption hemant vishwa sharma pe question pucha gaya amisha said bhai jaane do he did not talk anything about corruption jisko prime minister bol raha hai kuch samay pehle main apne ne my point is simple if there is nothing to hide there if there is nothing to hide nothing will be found but if there is something to hide then you have huge trouble the, the other thing priyanka ji is how much of a dent it is in bihar when you don't have out of the three jo three strong parties hain bjp hai rjd hai and Kong and uh, jdu hai right now 79 for the rjd 78 for the bjp and the third best is jdu in mein se do ek ho gaye to fir kya what is going to be the impact on lok sabha 2020 last time 39 out of 40 if, if this time it's a repeat then what does that imply for the rjd sanjay kumar ji thank you for your patience is this clearly purely for lok sabha 2024 how do you see this and the caste ka samikaran this caste survey now caste census now is it going to come back to bite the india alliance because they bit the bullet nitish ji convince them to take this and talk about it Uh, uh anand i don't i won't agree that <clears throat> this is only and only for 2024 okay. but it is also correct that it would have a huge impact on how uh, the electoral verdict could be in bihar in 2024 because as nitish kumar has now switched side uh, and nitish kumar is part of the nda uh, what nda would have uh, is kind of a you know they they would have two things to mobilize the voters bjp was already having the mandal uh, the kamandal in their hand mm. after the inauguration of ram temple there is a huge euphoria in favor of bjp because of you know the mandir being inaugurated ram mandir has has has, has been come up mm. after nitish kumar shifting sides uh, they will also have the advantage of having the mandal with them nitish kumar uh, belongs to a obc caste he would be able to uh, mobilize a very large number of non yadav obcs as well as the lower obc so so this is going to give a huge advantage to the nda in bihar i mm. see as as you have already mentioned mm. in 2019 lok sabha elections this same combination more or less the same combination managed to mm. win 39 out of 40 seat this is a very formidable combination if you put the dalit vote because the dalit leaders are on their side the dalit parties are on the nda side the obc parties are on uh, in on the nda side except rjd because rjd only remains uh, popular among the yadavs now upper caste are sharply polarized in favor of the nda so this is a this is a big combination all these put together amounts to roughly about 65 67% of the population hmm. so the contest in bihar 
is going to be between 65 versus 35 hmm. you could will ima- you could will well imagine if the contest is between 65 and 35 how the electoral verdict is likely to be in 2024 hmm. if we are talking about bihar hmm. but what does this imply for uh, nitish kumar sanjay ji does this mean that the jdu yeah. will further erode is there any truth when tejasvi yadav even though a little frustrated upset says 2024 JDU will be over. No, I don't think 2024 JDU would be, will be over because what is going to happen in 2024, uh, there would be a seat sharing arrangement between JDU, BJP and the other allies. Mm. So, Nitish Kumar, uh, yes, I think his stature has gone down a little bit, his image has go- seen a little bit of dip, but still his party commands roughly in the range of say 14 to 15 percent vote. And he will be able to ride on the popularity of Prime Minister Modi because this is an <coughs> election which is uh, which will be contested in the name of Prime Minister Modi. That will give Nitish Kumar an advantage. So his party is likely to win sizable number of seats. Had he not been part of the NDA, if he had remained with India Alliance, I think he would have faced more difficulty compared to now when he has shifted side to the NDA. I am talking only in terms of the 2024 Lok Sabha elections. I am not referring to what might happen in 2025. Hmm. So, interesting observation Priyanka ji, that Rajat ke saath hote to 2024 mein JDO ko nuksan jada hata, seat e kam milti, aur vote share bhi shayad kam hata. Ye, this is not interesting interpretation. I would say this is a bogus interpretation because wo keh rahe bar bar Sanjay ji, कि यादवों का वोट है हमारे पास में आई डोंट नो ही डस्ट हैव द डेटा और नॉट हमारा वोटिंग परसेंटेज सबसे ज्यादा रहा है 2022 में और जब हमने बिहार में लाखों रोजगार दिए शिक्षा के विभाग में जो हमारा था स्वास्थ्य के विभाग में जो हमारा था खेल में हमने सुधार किया है तो हम तो राम के नाम पे वोट मांगने नहीं जा रहे हैं we are asking for votes on the name of what we have done. Karma Purush hmm. Tejasvi Jaswiji. So, we will not ask for the name of Ram's name. And people will not give us who to vote. Why do you want to vote? They will vote and give us the vote. And the truth is that Tejasvi Ji has always talked about A to Z ki politics. And from our A to Z, and from 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 A to Z, ये दे ये M M Y यानी beginning M ending Y तो O N E Y M O N E Y की तो बात नहीं कर रही ना beginning A ending Z I'm just saying I'm just saying I'm just saying it in I'm just saying it in jest because the allegation against the R J D is all they talk about is M O N E Y not just M N Y but M O N E Y but let me quickly let me let me quickly please please थोड़ा सो थोड़ा सो परिहार थोड़ा तो परिहार करने की इजाजत दीजिए no, no, what, you yes, made a very strong point. Let Anupriya ji respond. Now, Sanjay, Sanjay ji has said, Sanjay Kumar ji says, Anupriya ji, that the JDU ka fayda and Nitish Babu ka fayda was to go back to the NDA as far as Lok Sabha 2024 is concerned. RJD ke saath rehte to nuksaan dhota. Look, uh, Anand ji, if you have seen that in 2005, we will see that in India, we will see that in our RJD, we will see that in India. In this case, we will see that in 2000. 19 में जो लोकसभा चुनाव होती है और 2020 के विधानसभा चुनाव में जिस तरह से अंतर जो आते हैं और खासकर मुझे लगता है कि संजय सर ने अगर किसी बात को बहुत ही मजबूती से रखा है तो 2020 के चुनाव के संदर्भ में रखा लेकिन उस समय में हमारे साथ में अंदरूनी घात हुई थी और आज भी वो पार्टी बीजेपी के साथ में है और आज भी उन्होंने स्टेटमेंट दिया है कि हम बीजेपी के साथ जरूर लेकिन जेडीयू के साथ में नहीं है तो ये धोखे थे जो हमारे सीट्स कम थे लेकिन निश्चित तौर पर राममयी समय मैं फिर कहूंगी कि बहुत पीछे जाने की जरूरत है राममयी समय में जननायक कपूर ठाकुर जी की जो हम बार बार भारत रत्न की मांग कर रहे थे उस मांग पे अगर बीजेपी ने दिया है उनको बधाई भी देते हैं और उनको पता है कि जिस तरह से जाति आधारित जनगणना हुई और यहाँ पे आरक्षणों की सीमा बढ़ाई गई है निश्चित तौर पे बिहार की जनता है वो माननीय मुख्यमंत्री जी के पक्ष में है और उनके साथ में रहेगी अब हम दोनों साथ में हैं तो निश्चित तौर पे जो वोटे थी हमारी अपनी अपनी वो निश्चित तौर पर एनडीए को मजबूत करने के लिए होंगी और मुझे लगता है कि अब इस इन बातों को मतलब नहीं रह गया है कि इनको फायदा होगा नहीं होगा लेकिन निश्चित तौर पर बिहार में अगर बिहार की जनता ने आदरणीय प्रधानमंत्री मोदी जी ने भी जब चुनाव लड़ रहे थे हम 2020 में उन्होंने इस बातों को स्वीकारा था 
कि अगर बिहार में हम चुनाव लड़ेंगे तो हमारा चेहरा नीतीश कुमार ही होंगे क्योंकि एकमात्र समाजवादी विधानसभा विधानसभा चुनाव के लिए अब तो नीतीश बाबू को मानना पड़ेगा की भाई लोकसभा चुनाव लड़ना है तो चेहरा प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी होंगे और इसी से तो इसी से तो उनको दिक्कत थी कि दो हजार में बाहर निकल लिए थे तब तक तब नरेंद्र मोदी जी से ही दिक्कत थी ना उन्हें सो नाउ ऑल दैट नो 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 सो 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 लेट 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 मी 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 वो वो सब बीत गई बात गई लाइक एवरीथिंग एल्स दैट नीतीश बाबू से तो ठीक है तो मैं कह रही कि बहुत कम समय नहीं रह गया आने दीजिए आप आदरणीय प्रधानमंत्री मोदी जी बिहार में भी आएंगे निश्चित तौर पे बिहार में आदरणीय प्रधानमंत्री मोदी जब आए थे तब वहाँ उनकी रैली के वहाँ बम विस्फोट हुआ था ये भी आपको याद है ये भी उसी वक्त हुआ था जब नीतीश बाबू प्रधानमंत्री मुख्यमंत्री थे जी मुझे याद है बिल्कुल याद है तो तो, तो वहां से वहां से लेकर अब अब क्या बदल गया हैव थिंग्स चेंज सैयद जफर इस्लाम रशीद किदवा इज नॉट स्पोकन आई कम टू द इंडिया लाइंस इन जस्ट अ बिट यस सैयद जफर इस्लाम सो हैव ऑल हैज ऑल दैट बीन फॉरगॉटन डोर्स आर बी क्लोज्ड वी नेवर फॉरगेट एवरीथिंग लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स वर सेड सो हैज ऑल दैट नाउ बीन फॉरगॉटन और इज इट जस्ट पुट अ पॉज ऑन इट टिल टिल मे 2024 वेल Anand, you have to understand. We are a political parties. There is no permanent enemy in political space. <laughs> we we have to definitely done and dusted all these hmm. the statement which is made by us or by them or by RJD. Everyone has made a statement for each other. They have they have praised n hmm. n number of times to the honourable chief minister. Today they are not. So why we first ask them why they were praising if they were so unhappy with them. <coughs> so i think these these things need to be done and dusted because it has no relevance the fact is that he is back in india fold he is back to support the what the the uh, the voters have voted for uh, the uh, alliance was bharatiya janata party and jdu alliance and definitely it was a it was a natural alliance hmm. compared to unholy alliance what he, he was where he was See, so he himself said that hmm. i have come back where i need to be and th- this is what uh, so then now what happens to this indi oh, alliance so rashid kitwa what what happens to this indi alliance let's come back to it that it will disintegrate uh, see, let me cut it, it yeah please it will disintegrate hmm. it will disintegrate uh, just uh, anand one second okay. it will disintegrate also it uh, also all the, all the political parties who are part of this alliance and i am sure that somebody will all the political party is thinking who will take the lead after uh, ritesh kumar because they all know that this alliance will cease to exist because everybody has aspiration there is a lot of see he was the one who brought everybody on board uh, none of them wanted to come on board and uh, and it's documented so that he is the one who sits them together and now, it will disagree it so, will so then rashid kidwa what does this mean 300 seats nearly 250 plus seats now where there's a congress versus bjp one on one punjab aap will not seat space in bengal mamta ji will not seat the seat space now in bihar rjd will not seat space rjd will say ladna hai to hamare naam par lado hamare liye vote consolidate karo tumko seat nahi milengi Akhilesh will not cede space. He will not give seats. So that means nearly more than two, nearly 200 seats where there is no space for the Congress in the Northern Belt, Punjab, UP, Bihar, Bengal. Anand, I think uh, 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 the India Alliance is today looking like a cycle stand. In a cycle stand, if one cycle is removed, then you know every other uh, you know cycle also becomes uh, vulnerable to fall. and this is uh, uh, you know the uh, india alliance leadership is to be blamed what the bjp is doing is also equally you know baffling because of a very machiavellian way of dealing with politics uh, anand we know coalitions are established in our country mm-hmm. out of necessity here the bjp as mr sanjay kumar was saying that is sitting very pretty as far as 2024 is concerned mm-hmm. but it is also trying to you know dismantle uh, you know others because you know it does not want to leave any opportunity to the opposition to uh, regroup hmm. and suddenly the entire india alliance is looking extremely uh, vulnerable one one thing i would say that you know mr nitish kumar is also hmm. very he may be ambitious but he also you know he does a lot of hard calculations he has not done a hmm. shweb malik kind of thing see he is politically speaking of course see he has calculated he wanted to become as the, they say you know proverbial thing hmm. ke, uh, चौबे जी छब्बे जी छब्बे जी बनना चाहते थे दुबे जी बन के लौटे सो ही हैड ऑफ कोर्स ही हैड एन एम्बिशन एंड ही थॉट दैट इंडिया अलायंस इज अ गुड प्लेटफॉर्म वेन यू रियलाइज दैट लॉट ऑफ मंकी ट्रिक्स आर बीइंग प्लेड विद इन यू नो इंडिया अलायंस बाय प्रॉपिंग अप मल्लिकार्जुन खड़गे दे मेद परमिशनल कैंडिडेट एंड यू नो नॉट अलाउंग नीतीश कुमार टू इवन बिकम यू नो कन्वेनर 
he he just fancied his chance and i think the bjp has fallen uh, in his trap because the bjp again i would say anand was very mm. particularly after january 22nd was very well placed in bengal i'm oh, sorry mm. in bihar it mm. was a matter of whether it will get you know 25 seats 30 seats or more mm. seats and you know, and well, mm. mr nitish kumar has entangled bjp and bjp has not covered itself in mm. glory and it hurt politically speaking it will hurt nobody in this panel if you speak do a uh, you know secret vote nobody will approve of you know uh, what nitish kumar has done or what the matter bjp has done but of course people are doing as per postures hmm sanjay kumar ji you agree disagree with what rashid kitwa is saying and your thoughts in terms of the indi alliances fortunes Sorry, you pull? the the indi alliances fortunes now no each if you go even if you go seat by seat do you think there is anything has the congress damaged rather than helped its own cause especially when rahul gandhi has just started his nya uh, nya yatra see uh, anand i would be very frank i have been saying this for few months now uh, that there was uh, india alliance was not moving and i was not very hopeful of uh, this uh, this alliance even posing a serious challenge to bjp in 2024 mm. so i was anticipating this i'm not saying that i was anticipating nitish kumar switching sides but i had anticipated that things were not moving in the way it should have moved within the mm. india alliance and my own sense was that this india alliance even if nitish had remained with the india alliance was not in a position to put up a formidable challenge to nda and bjp in 2024 now when nitish has moved to hmm. in, uh, now nda i think the only interest at least to me remains for 2024 election is how big bjp's victory could be in 2024 whether it will be a bigger victory compared to 2019 or whether bjp will not be able to touch the 2019 mark hmm. still bjp will be able to win the 2024 elections mm. my own sense is that bjp is heading for a slightly bigger victory compared to 2019 mm. in 2024 lok sabha elections mm. but then is it wrong to be ruthless sanjay kumar ji because what rashid kitwa is saying if you do a secret ballot in this panel everybody would say bjp ne jo kiya galat kiya jdu ne jo kiya galat kiya you are going to win but why trample the opposition oh is it wrong to be ruthless oh no in terms of no i i won't i won't say in that respect that uh, why trouble the opposition hmm. you know the ruling party will always try to, to trouble the no trample uh, i mean but yes puri tarah se ron do unko khatam hi kar do i would i would also be one of those who would say you know what has happened in bihar politics is not is not uh, correct hmm. uh, because you know look at this man nitish kumar shifting sides from one side to another uh, look at the statement which he has given look at the statement which we are given by the bjp leader so what is happening is that if you know after all this if the two parties come together form an alliance form a government i think people start losing trust in you know how politics should be done people start losing trust in hmm. uh, politics hmm. uh, i don't know how what model these uh, this kind of a politics is going to present for the young people who aspire to join politics we hmm. keep saying that you know young people don't take interest in politics what they are going to learn if you see the chief minister walking into walking uh, like mm. going to the governor house submitting the resignation and within few hours not even few hours uh, he again goes to the governor's house submit a letter uh, uh, like uh, mm. for uh, support and you know like saying so, that he is but, but in this case take the oath does, is that case. reflective on the so bjp very, or is it reflective on the, very funny but is that reflective on the bjp or is it reflective both. on the jdu and nitish kumar because I w- it was I nitish who both. walked out of the bjp well, alliance more on more and on it is nitish who was walked out who's walked back into more. the BJP. bjp didn't say we don't want the alliance I, I, as far as my memory serves me right but said the zafar islam please defend that or uh, counter argue counter that please that what's happened in bihar is not a good template it does so, not set a good example for politics or for those who want to enter politics this is not good politics is what people are saying <coughs> see everyone knows in bihar and outside bihar that bjp in bihar is in a very formidable position mm. mr rashid kidwai said despite criticizing bjp he also admitted that bjp is in a very strong position in bharat in bihar and we will win 25 30 seats <coughs> out of 40 seats what is important uh, everyone needs to understand that in, in politics what is our objective 
एज एन डी एज ए भारतीय जनता पार्टी आर पोलिटिकल ऑब्जेक्टिव इज टू सर्व द पीपल सर्व द पीपल एफिशियंटली एंड इफेक्टिवली एंड सेकेंड थिंग दिस कैनॉट हैपन अनलेस यू आर इन ए पोजिशन ऑफ स्ट्रेंथ वेन हाउ यू कैन बी पोजिशन वेन यू विन दोज इलेक्शन एंड वी डेफिनेटली वॉन्ट टू विन एवरी सिंगल इलेक्शन वी पुट ऑल आर माइट ऑल आर रिसोर्सेज एंड वी गो फॉर द किल एंड दिस इज वॉट समथिंग विच वी नीड टू डू टू इंश्योर दैट वी आर सर्विंग द पीपल एंड देयर इंटरेस्ट इज सेफ गार्डेड इन द प्रीवियस गवर्नमेंट द पीपल हैव बीन नेग्लेक्टेड देयर इंटरेस्ट हैव नेवर बीन सेफ गार्डेड एंड इट इज इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर एवरी पोलिटिकल पार्टी एंड वी आर लीडिंग दैट Uh, we are leading that initiative that we need to serve the people and mm. this is what uh, the honorable prime minister always stated mm. that our objective is to serve the people as a karyakarta as a political party as a representative of mm. the people and this is what we are doing and in that uh, uh, format if something needs to be done like what we have done today it is definitely important with mm. the perspective i have told you that to form the government to serve the people and we don't have that kind of friction In mm. in earlier all the uh, in, in India alliance you see there is mm. a lot of friction. I as I said earlier, this is the alliance or de- they are working for defiance. So this is something which they need to really understand. But I mm. personally forecast that this this uh, Gamandia alliance is bound to disintegrate. If, if there are But some who see, will take the lead, they will also because it's a matter of survival for their survival. For them to survive, they will definitely come. They will try to come. Priyanka ji, Priyanka ji, Priyanka ji, and then. जी प्रियंका जी एंड अनुप्रिया जी सो दिस अलायंस विल नॉट सर्वाइव लोकसभा 2024 के परिपेक्ष में ये इंडिया अलायंस नहीं चलेगा घमंडिया अलायंस बीजेपी उसे बुला रही है बट अगर बड़े बड़े क्षेत्रीय छत्रप अपनी अपनी जगह बचाने के लिए लगे हैं सो देन हाउ इज इट गोइंग टू स्टैंड बिकॉज विल कांग्रेस सी पी एम एंड ऑल दीज कंपाइल पुल इन देयर वोट्स टू टू बैक समबड़ी लाइक अ समाजवादी पार्टी और एन आर और इवन अ तृणमूल कांग्रेस इन दीज रिस्पेक्टिव स्टेट्स और एन आम आदमी पार्टी इन पंजाब द आम आदमी पार्टी विल नॉट सीट स्पेस टू द कांग्रेस That's a big question, Priyanka ji, because that will define how the RJD survives at national level politics also. Because the RJD also does not want to, or clearly Tejasvi Yadav does not want to be seen as a regional chhatrap, somebody who cannot has got no presence beyond Bihar. So it's a big consideration that you will have to have now. See, Lalu ji has been the one of the greatest leader, leader the Nelson Mandela India has witnessed. When Islam ji is talking here about. we are serving india we are committed to serving people i don't understand are you serving india by sending laborers to israel are we producing laborers to send to israel or is bjp serving india by producing rapists who going to bjp and rape a girl student over there is it it is it a form of serving people and when you talk about bihar bihar is the land who has fought kamandal since 90s and it will continue to fight kamandal bana mandal ki rajneeti हमारी नींव है और उसको हमने जिया है और उसके लिए हम लड़ेंगे एंड व्हेन यू टॉक अबाउट कि uh, हमारे ऊपर क्या असर होगा नहीं असर होगा कुर्सियां मिलेंगी या नहीं मिलेंगी कुर्सी के लिए वरी कोई और करता है बिहार में वी डोंट वरी अबाउट कुर्सी वी वरी अबाउट पीपल दैट्स व्हाई वी आर कमिटेड टू पीपल एंड प्रोक्योरिंग जॉब्स विद सी लालू एज एन आरजेडी एज एन एज एन आरजेडी वोटर और एज एन आरजेडी सपोर्टर और एज एन आरजेडी स्पोक्स पर्सन आई वुड नॉट यूज लालू जी हैज बीन आई वुड हैव सेड लालू जी इज when you say lalu ji has been then that's reflective one secondly those those who allege those who you allege was kamandal are no longer kamandal they have become more mandal than the mandal themselves today if you look in the current if you look in the current current const if you look in the current const ma'am i am talking facts if you look in the if you look in the current const, construct actually thirdly ma'am thirdly ma'am a party whose leaders are under charges are convicted on charges of corruption are under investigation of charges of corruption cannot act as holy Than thou. Third, fourth, please, ma'am. If you see, if you see, out of those forty seats, how many seats are you willing to say? Given the fact that it was Tejasvi who did the running around for the assembly elections, and and the, and the Mahagadbandan lost where the RJD did not contest. How many seats out of forty will you give to your other alliance partners now? Given the current situation. Anand ji, when you are asserting that uh, BJP is more mandal than earlier. so why bjp was against caste based census aur aaj hi ki report mein no, again, again 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 once again i am talking fa- i am talking facts ma'am in bihar I the ba- the, B- the bjp was part of the alliance when the budgets for caste census were approved in the bihar assembly 
there was a sarva sammati se parit there was no opposition to caste census the question that the bjp asked in bihar the question that the bjp asked in bihar was in the manner in which the caste survey was done and was it done properly with the right objectives because there were only 8 and 1/2 crore anomalies if my memory serves me right went to supreme court against caste based census it was bjp who went to went Correct, against but, but the same but the your own alliance partners the congress was against taking up the caste census it was nitish ji who convinced rahul gandhi and the entire cpm and that block to talk about jiski jitni hissedari jiski uski itni jiski jitni sankhya bhari this line was came in the indi alliance congress itself was in karnataka the congress has not released the caste census yes ma yet ma'am so let's not let's not get into let's not get into i am clearly asking from an rjd point of view how many seats will you concede to how your alliance partners in for lok sabha 2040 mein se kitni seat hai aap dosto ne aap dena chahenge kisi ko why don't you ask that question to bjp jahan 38 partners hain inke alliance mein why don't you ask that question are main to abhi seedha hi inko main to abhi agla prashn inko hi puchne wala hu ki jdu kitni seat leke rahegi aapke aapka vote share sanjay ji kehte hain 15 15% hai to aapko kya 15 seat bhi milengi priyanka ji that's no no anupriya ji that's my next question but you didn't answer the question no no priyanka ji you have not answered the question yet this is where the problem is going to be akhilesh will not want to give a single seat didi has said i won't give a single seat akhilesh you have given 11 seats haven't you seen that akhilesh ji to clearly de diye 11 seat congress ko aapko idea nahi hai kya de de aur bihar mein jo hoga बिहार में जो होगा हाँ। वो तेजस्वी जी तय करेंगे और साथ में इंडिया गठबंधन तय करेगे हमारे बीच में कोई अच्छा सैयद जफर इस्लाम एंड 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 अनुप्रिया जी या सैयद जफर इस्लाम या आई थिंक शी शुड नो दैट व्हाट अखिलेश बाबू हैज सेड टू कांग्रेस टेक इट और लीव इट दे वर आस्किंग ट्वेंटी सिक्स सीट दे हैव बीन ऑफर्ड इलेवन सीट टेक इट और लीव इट लाइक ममता बनर्जी सेड टेक टू सीट और गेट लॉस्ट so and finally they had to get lost because she was very clear that we do not want them as an ally and and she made it very clear that no uh, we will not reconsider our decision not a single seat so two seats take it or leave it or now zero seat same thing will happen up there will be no partner in fact they wanted to have an alliance in bihar in uh, in uh, ek, ek baat ek in, baat uh, uttar pradesh ek baat and, 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 एक बात तो सही जफर इस्लाम आपको भी मानना पड़ेगा बाबू ने जैसे ही इस अलायंस को स्टिच yeah. किया इससे कुछ तो फर्क बीजेपी को पड़ रहा था That's the reason why that you you've been saying that this is destined to disintegrate, destined to disintegrate, and today somewhere why I started. Khush to baat honge aap is because you actually pulled the person who was the sutradhar, the catalyst who brought them all together. That's why. But where do you go from here? When I say See, the where do you is the JDU. Final question. I have run out of time. Anupriya ji, where do you go from here? How many seats now will it be about? How many seats the JDU gets in Bihar in this alliance that you have now stitched back or walked back into the NDA? आनंद जी आपके क्वेश्चन के जवाब देने के पहले मैं प्रियंका जी को कुछ कहना चाहूंगी उन्होंने कहा कुर्सी किसको प्यारी है ये सबको पता है पर कुर्सी ये अपने परिवार में ही बटते ये सबको पता है कहाँ बटती है कुर्सी प्यार परिवार को नहीं हमें जनता प्यार है प्रियंका जी लिसन टू मी लिसन टू मी मैंने आपको इंटरप्ट नहीं किया था आप सुन लीजिए पहले आपने आपने चिंता जताई आपने चिंता जताई अलायंस की लेकिन अलू प्रसाद यादव जी कहते इतनी जल्दी कहाँ से अलायंस की सीटें सॉल्व हो जाएगी आपके नेता कई बातें बोलते हैं सनातन पे आप चुप्पी साधी रहते हो और आप डिफेंड भी करते हैं ये ये मजेदार बात होती है आप डिफेंड भी करते हैं कमंडल मंडल की राजनीति अलग है बट देश संविधान से चलता है और संविधान को जब तार तार करे तो कोई मतलब नहीं होता है और आप जब बात कर रहे हो मंडल का मंडल की सुनो बात ना आप बिहार था ये बिहार था जिसने आरक्षण का दायरा बढ़ाया और आपने हमारे साथ में काम किया जरूर अच्छी बात है हम लिसन 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 प्रियंका जी लिसन लिसन प्रियंका जी प्रियंका जी आई नो इट्स वेरी हार्ड टाइम फॉर यू आई नो प्रियंका इज वेरी हार्ड टाइम फॉर यू बट लिसन टू मी अब आप आपके सवालों पे मैं आ रही हूँ आनंद जी आनंद जी डेफिनेटली सिक्सटीन एम हमारे है सटिंग और हमने यही बातें हमने इंडिया अलायंस में भी कही थी लेकिन अब मैं ये बात कर रही हूँ कि सिक्सटीन हमारे हैं लेकिन साथ ही साथ नए गठबंधन में है सीट शेयरिंग का मामला हमारे शीर्ष नेतृत्व तय करेंगे मैं शायद आज औपचारिक रूप से ना कह पाऊं कि कितने सीटों पे हम चुनाव करेंगे निश्चित तौर पे हमारे 16 जो एमपी हैं वो चुनाव मैदान में एक बात मुझे कहना पड़ेगा एक बात आपको कहना पड़ेगा चाहे जितनी बार भी नीतीश जी साइड बदल ले आप लोग डिफेंड करने में माहिर हो गए हैं कैसे आप कैसे तथ्य को आई मीन 
फैक्ट्स तो हर तरफ है पॉलिटिक्स है रशीद किदवाई जी दिस इज समथिंग दैट द जेडीयू नाउ सीम सीम्स टू हैव बीन सीम्स टू हैव बीन एबल टू डू क्विकली संजय कुमार जी व्हाई डू यू सी द स्विच हैपनिंग इन बिहार इफ यू वांट टू ब्रेक डाउन बिहार 39 आउट ऑफ 40 द लास्ट टाइम अराउंड डू यू सी आपने कहा था कि अबाउट 65% ऑफ द वोट्स आर वन वे इट्स अ 65 35 काइंड ऑफ अ सिनेरियो डू यू सी दैट फर्दर कंसोलिडेटिंग डू यू सी द बीजेपी वर्किंग टुवर्ड्स अ 51 और अ 52% वोट शेयर इटसेल्फ एंड एन एनडीए लुकिंग एट अ 55% प्लस वोट शेयर ओवरऑल अक्रॉस द कंट्री डू यू सी दैट हैपनिंग एंड फॉर द इंडिया अलायंस इज इट गोइंग टू बिकम इंक्रीजिंगली डिफिकल्ट फॉर अ कांग्रेस लेफ्ट कंबाइंड to to have their say especially when the regional satraps are strong tamil nadu will be next maharashtra will be another place punjab anyway uh yes uh, i am not sure whether nda uh, nda alliance will be able to achieve the target what they are, they are aiming for 55% plus vote nationally mm. but in bihar i see them almost reaching 50% vote mm. when i am saying almost it could be one up 2% less it could be one or two percent or uh, what i was referring to is that 65 percent of the total electorate are on one side mm. and 35 percent of the total electorate on the other side so with this kind of a sizable uh, you know support base uh, i'm sure nda is almost set to reach uh, roughly about 50 percent of the total votes in bihar if that happens they are almost sure to repeat the performance they had in 2019 i am not saying about the seat 39 could become 37 39 could even become 40 who knows mm. Mm. because in the first past the post system we never know you can lose a seat with a small margin you can win a seat with a very small margin uh, going back to the second question uh, my own sense is that congress if you look at how things has changed over last uh, you know 4 5 days bengal congress has got a strong message from trinamool congress a regional party in punjab aam aadmi party has already made an announcement that look hmm. we are going to contest all the 13 seats in up what was being ben- mentioned earlier that samajwadi party akhilesh ji has already mentioned that these are the 11 seats which we are going to offer please take it hmm. i don't want to repeat the next sentence but uh, you can we can see that congress is under the pressure and with what has happened in bihar today congress hmm. will be more under pressure from the regional parties i think congress has to make up their mind whether they have to how much they have to they, they they should try and adjust with the regional forces if they still want to keep the india alliance as it as it is in today's time intact till 2024 mm. if they if they if they don't make adjustment with the regional parties maybe in the coming weeks or coming months uh, some more allies may, may leave india alliance mm. and then it would be yeah. like Do do you scenario see a scenario where where the opposition pools its votes or a vote transfer happens in say a 300 seats where there are direct fights between BJP and Congress, and the Congress then effects a vote transfer to, in favor of the regional chhatras? Do you see a scenario like that ever happening? No. Uh, no. What is the problem now is that in the states, if you look at uh, uh, there are very few states where Congress and a regional party are of more or less equal. size in a sense mm. yes punjab and delhi we could say but in punjab aam aadmi party has already made an announcement that they are going solo uh, but bengal congress has hardly has any vote what the, what vote they are going to transfer if you look at samajwadi party and yes in up it is going to be important because congress still it's a very small party if you look at the vote share but still i think they had 6 to 7% vote Gee. so in in a large mm. number of states Congress, Congress, and in the uh, Congress is a very minor player, tiny player, and in some states where Congress still is the dominant opponent to the BJP, other regional party, other uh, India Alliance partner are almost non-present. Right. So, you know, Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan, Chhattisgarh. <coughs> right. Uh, so, transfer of vote, maybe it will take place to some extent. I am not saying that it will be a hundred, hundred percent transfer of vote. It would be to the extent of sixty, seventy, as we keep seeing in other states in previous election. Hmm. But will that be enough to uh, hmm. for India Alliance to pose even a serious challenge right. to BJP? I put a big question mark on that. Right. I thank you all. Thank you all uh, for joining us. We got to wind up. We have to take a very very short break. Let's see how it all fi- pans out, ladies and gentlemen. But clearly, the immediate benefit or fallout uh, will be seen or manifest with Lok Sabha 2024. Thank you for staying with us here on this continuous coverage. News continues, and we stay focused on Bihar when we come back. Stay with us.